Hello, this is Rod Martin. In this video, we will be looking at Pleistocene, how the official definition is all wrong. This is not the first time a term has been misdefined in science. Over time, as scientists have discovered more and better information, the definitions of terms have changed to meet the better understanding of reality. Take the word planet, for instance. Improving the definition did not make Pluto disappear, it was simply reclassified. Scientists came up with a smarter definition. Native Americans are sometimes called Indians, even though they are not from India. The confusion started with Christopher Columbus when he thought he had reached India, but instead bumped into the Americas. And couldn't we call anyone born in America native to America? How long does a group of people have to live in a place to become native? All Americans are immigrants if you go back far enough. Scientists these days also call extrasolar planetary systems solar systems. And that's entirely wrong. There's only one Sol. That's the name of our own sun. So there's only one solar system. Those other systems are merely planetary systems that are extrasolar, outside of the solar system. See? Simple. But using the wrong term or an incorrect definition creates confusion. The Definition of Pleistocene According to the current definition, the Pleistocene epoch is an ice age with a couple of dozen glacial periods and a couple of dozen interglacial periods, all including a stretch of time approximately 2.6 million years long. Ironically, the Holocene epoch is one of a series of two dozen interglacials. The only thing that makes it different or special is that we currently live in it. That's egocentric. That's the same delusion that had people thinking the Earth was the center of the universe. It's the same kind of insanity that has people thinking, Of course, these nine warm periods were natural, but this one, this one is special. This one is man-made. Really? Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Because the Pleistocene contains both glacials and interglacials, and because the Holocene is merely one of a series of interglacials during the same Ice Age event, effectively, the Pleistocene never ended. The definition which has it end 12,000 years ago is thus artificial and contrary to the fact that the same Ice Age which gave the Pleistocene its meaning is still ongoing. One key definition of Ice Age is critical to understanding this. It states that so long as we have ice persisting throughout the year at both poles, we live in an ice age. And because interglacials have a nasty habit of ending, when the Holocene ends and those two little white things still persist at the poles, we will be headed for the next glacial period. And that could end up destroying civilization. So the next time some public official disrespects global warming, and recommends coating our atmosphere with dust particles to cool things down, realize that they are jeopardizing our future. Cold kills. Warmth promotes life. And whatever we call our current ice age, it's still ongoing. Don't walk on thin ice.